Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do some intermediate things with WX. <clears throat> Actually, that's what I'm going to be doing in all these tutorials. I'm just today going to be showing you how to use um, sizers, in particular the box sizer, which adds a um, pretty much the main kind of control that you're going to find for layout and sizing and general, you know, um, proportionality and stuff like that for um, WX. Now, all these tutorials are going to be in um, Python because it's, uh, in my opinion, a lot more clear uh, to beginners, at least. Um, and uh, if you are used to the C++, it's uh, relatively easy to transfer your transfer the Python code into C++, but it's really hard to do the opposite and to do the reverse, uh, make up Python from C++. But anyways, so um, what we've done here is just created a simple, um, PySimple app and then made a frame and then shared and did mainly. But um, inside of that, we are going to create a panel and that's going to be the parent for two, uh, and eventually three uh, items. And those are the items that we're going to be sizing with the sizer. So let's make the panel. And we're gonna, uh, this just means that it's yeah, going to be the parent, where the parent of the panel is going to be the frame. And um, the ID, I'm just going to make a new ID. And now we are going to color the panel. Let's color the panel black. And now it's wrong. This is what we've got. Okay. So let's get back over here. And now we are going to create are um, some static texts, and we're going to parent those to the pen. So, static text pen, static text, and we're going to parent this to the panel, a negative one, and the label, we're going to make it say, um, hello. Another one says world. And let's make these have different colors. <coughs> and okay. So now let's run this. Let's see what we've got so far. So far, we've got world, and then underneath that, there's actually hello, but you can't see them both because they are overlapping because we have not used a sizer yet, and the sizer really makes things happen. So what we're going to be using the sizer for is for putting hello on this side and putting world on this side, so they will be side by side, and uh, this uh, we're going to call this layout um, horizontally stacked because if you turn your head so that horizontally is up and down then they're stacked like uh, horizontally. So we are going to go back over here and after we've created our um, static texts as children to the panel we are going to create a new box sizer. Now what a box sizer is is just um, just uh, this arbitrary brain for uh, controlling elements. Anyways, it'll make, it'll make more sense as we show you how it works instead of just trying to explain it. So let's create a new box sizer, and inside the parentheses we have to specify which mode we want to do them. Uh, we, in this case, making a horizontal stack, so we say WX horizontal. And then one by one we t 
tell the box sizer about the things that we want to size. So, BS add, BS add. I'm going to add the static text one, and then we give um, a proportion that we want um, each of the um, elements to size to. So we want this to we want uh, one of them to fill half the screen and the other to fill half the screen, well, not screen the container. We want one of them to fill half and the other one to fill half. So it's a one to one ratio. So we just make it one to one. ST2, so this is the one-to-one -one ratio, and these are just the names of the elements that we're adding to the sizing. And now, we, the final step is to tell the panel about the sizer, um, the brain. It says, panel, apply this brain to your um, children. And so, the way we do that is we tell the panel, panel, set, sizer, and then BS, and then we tell about the sizer. And so now save, and we run. And here we got it. Hello world. So hello is on one side, world's on the other side, and they are. Um, one side is 50 percent, and the other side is 50 percent. So that's all good. Now, if we uh, just for putting uh, this up, let's make a third one. This one jumped. I think that's the way it's going. see. Okay. Bunch of exclamation points. Sorry for the spam. Okay. Yep, it's cold. Okay, so here we go. One to one to one. So that just means it's uh, 33 feet. 0.3% for each of these boxes. Okay, so let's say we want to use um, a different proportionality. Person. Let's say we want um, this one to be twice the size of um, each of the other ones. So you just say 2 to 1 to 1. Save, and run again. And now we have a different proportion. Okay, so uh, in addition to uh, just making it so that these are st stacked, we can also tell um, so the box sizer is actually considering the entire size of the frame it's going from top to bottom so um, we can actually use this to make hello like vertically centered and world um, bottom blind and uh, things like that so to do that to do that we tell um, we add these flags to the uh, add card. And uh, so if, if we wanted to align this one at the bottom, we'd say WF's bottom. That's the flag for aligning to the bottom. And then if we wanted to align this one to the center, we'd say WX um, align center vertical. And uh, for this one, it's already aligned to top, so I'm going to show you something else, which is um, WX expand. And let's save. And go back over here. Run again. And so now we've got hello, which is actually on um, the uh, WX bottom didn't seem to work. Uh, on it, but, um, but anyways, um, world worked. It's aligned um, in the center vertically, which is the direction that the box sizer is not. You know, the box sizer, we said box sizer, WX horizontal, and it's vertically aligning it. This one, WX Expand, tells it to you know go 100% top to bottom. Um, let's let's go see what is wrong with here. Um, maybe it's a line bottom. There we go. So yeah, a line bottom. Okay, so that's it for this uh, box sizer tutorials. There will be another one um, because there's lots to do with sizers. Um, and thanks for watching.